Parking lot of suburban laundromat. A young boy scurries past as wash and learn text is overlaid. Interior laundromat text. St. Paul, Minnesota. A woman holds a children's book and speaks to young children seated on the floor. Jeff Gardner, chairman, Laundry Cares Foundation. Wash and learn is a combination of libraries and laundromats coming together with communities to promote literacy and help early childhood learning in spaces that might not normally be traditionally thought of as libraries. A nicely groomed man wearing a dark gray suit and white shirt, Melvin Carter III, mayor of St. Paul. I'm really excited to be here today, this morning, on a Saturday morning in a St. Paul Public Library. Uh, we're partnering with Libraries Without Borders uh, to ensure that all of our children and families in our community have access to books and literacy. Seated on the floor, Melvin Carter holds a book while interacting with children. A young boy turns pages of a children's book as other kids look on. And, you know, two hours spent on a Saturday morning washing are also two hours spent on a Saturday morning learning. NLM worked with us, Libraries Without Borders. Adam Eckelman, Director of Programs, Libraries Without Borders. Um, to pilot our first ever laundromat event in Minnesota. And with some of the learnings from that program, we said, why can't we do this across the state? And now we're working in five different counties, seven different laundromats. Exterior of the laundromat shows a job fair with people milling about. Um, to really think about how do we get information to people where they are? How do we ensure that NNLM resources reach the families that they're intended to serve? Peng Yang, Community Service Coordinator, Rondo Community Library. This is a very natural space for families to already be and to go to weekly. And so we figured, let's destroy the, the transportation barrier or the time barrier or whatever the obstacle is and then come to where they are so that we can provide them the resources that we have. Adam and others standing in front of a washing machine. A woman walks by with a filled laundry basket. When people come into the laundromat, they're not thinking about learning. They're not thinking about addressing their concerns about diabetes or hypertension or cancer. They're washing their clothes. And so what we're trying to do is to transform the 90 minutes, the wash and dry cycle that you're doing every week into to a different kind of experience, into one that's sexually enriching. A group of young children seated on the floor is reflected in the window of a front-loading clothes dryer. Jennifer Nelson, State Librarian of Minnesota. Digital literacy is fundamental to being successful in the world today. And I think many of us take for granted the fact that we have computers at home, that we have access to Wi-Fi. A group of young boys are seated around a table with laptop computers. Adam and a child look at a screen showing the Medline Plus website. The National Library of Medicine, a lot of people aren't aware of the degree um, in nature of the resources that they put out to make learning about um, topics related to medicine really accessible to people. So we've got some websites that are set up to the NLM site, I should say, um, where people can look for information about nutrition. Some of the resources are directed toward kids, so they're really friendly, more of a game-like environment. A young boy with short dark hair, Jose Gonzalez. It was really fun because I got to play on the computer. And it was nice of them for putting all the stuff up. Middle-aged man wearing Laundry Cares Foundation t-shirt, Daryl Johnson, owner, Giant Wash Coin Laundry. It's a way to give back. Simply put, if I can serve my community, in the end it's going to be good for me. But the reality of it is, is it's just good for the community. Montage of laundromat patrons, wash and learn organizers, and children playing. 